Hello, hello, welcome. Today is day one of the 21 days for a self-judgment detox. And I had someone write in and I um, with some requests and I separated these out. So I had a couple and I'm going to, um, uh, yeah, I've, I've broken it down to like five different great topics to tap on. And then another person wrote in and I broke that down to two more. So the first seven days are covered and anything after that I'll cover if there's um, aren't any other posts or requests. So um, I'm just going to read what was, hey Marvin, hey Marvin, how are you? I was just like, hey Marvin, oh hey Marvin, that Marvin, hope you're well. Um, so it says, I'm extremely hard on myself. I tend to judge myself for the stress in my life rather than seeing the stress as a normal part of life. Oh my God. And I, I can so relate to this because it, I would say this, I think in our, our toxic culture and in, in the personal development world, so there's so much of that, um, is about, you know, like look on the bright side, be positive, be optimistic. And there's nothing wrong with any of that. The problem is when it becomes spiritual bypass, when it becomes like, I'm not allowed to share my stress. And it was interesting. I woke up early this morning and I was, you know, doing what, what do you do it? Like f flying through Facebook. And I was looking at this group and, um, and I thought, wow, it's fascinating. It's a, what I would call a highly spiritual group. And it's vor verboden to talk about anything that's not going right for you. It's always about, no, 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 reframe that. And I'm all for reframing our thoughts. But in the tapping world, what we do and really helps release it, and it was such a relief for me. It certainly fits my personality more is we go in to the negative. We go into our truth. We don't bypass it and try to, like, think happy thoughts when it's impossible. And one other thing I want to say before we start tapping is I spent a year and a half, which many of you have been around me anytime know this, trying to think positive due to a major financial debacle that happened in my life, like close to probably 12, 13, 14 years ago now. And I, I didn't sleep through the night for a year. I kept trying to think positive. And what I finally woke up from the nightmare was, is I was abusing myself telling myself that I needed to think positive about something that was impossible for me to think positive about because I had way too much momentum going to the negative. And that's the beauty to me of tapping is we get to honor that and then it releases and then we don't have to try to think positive. So back to this, I'm extremely hard on myself. I tend to judge myself for the stress in my life rather than seeing stress as a normal part of life. Let's tap. It's a wonderful one. So just follow along, <clears throat> karate chop. Even though I can be extremely hard on myself about having stress in my life, as if I shouldn't have. But that makes sense. Because in this highly stressful culture I live in, we're often told, look on the bright side and made to feel bad about being stressed. I choose to honor this truth right now. Even though I can be so hard on myself and I really tend to judge myself for the stress in my life. Rather than understanding Stress is part of living. I choose to honor my feelings now. Even though I'm really hard on myself. And I really judge myself for being stressed. What if I could see this differently? even just 1% right now. Go to the eyebrow. I'm so hard on myself. You can do two hands or one. I'm extremely hard on myself. I really judge myself for being stressed. 
But last time I checked, I'm not some ascended master. I'm in a human body having a very human experience. And what if being stressed is part of that experience? What if it's the judgment of the stress that makes it really hang into me? What if I can just honor that life in a body as a human can be very stressful. And what if by honoring that truth, what if I start to notice that I'm not so stressed about feeling stressed? Because that's just doubling down on myself. What if I could practice it right now? I have a lot of stress in my life at times. So what? What if the first step to release some of this stress is releasing the judgment I have towards myself about being stressed. I can get really stressed in life. What if that could be a so what? Or a duh. Of course I get stressed in life. And what if as I catch myself in the act of stressing out, the first thing I can do is practice making that okay. I'm really stressed right now. So what? Who on planet Earth isn't? Is Especially dealing in this modern day world with cell phones, computers, driving, things dinging constantly. I just get hijacked by stress. And what if by practicing making that okay, I start to feel less stressed. And then I notice I'm judging myself less for being stressed. And what if the stress starts to release on its own? as I honor it and to remind myself it's a practice. Catching myself stressing whenever that is and even just telling myself that's okay or saying stressing I'm stressing right now. And what if through this practice, that makes all the difference over time? And take a breath. And it's so, um, thank you for this topic, because it's such a good one, because it took me a while, and I mean, I still do it. I mean, I've far from arrived. Um, it's, it's like, oh, yeah, 
I'm stressing over stressing. I'm worrying over worrying. And that's, that's the thing I did for a year. I'm like, oh my God, I got to think positive. I was trying so hard to think positive, but I had literally, from a neuroscience perspective, you can't. You cannot make a leap from, say, the pit of despair, the height of stress to like, oh, it's just happy thoughts and light and love. It's too big of a jump. And to me, there's mental noting, which I've talked about before as a meditation technique, where you just note it, stressing, stressing. That's something you can simply do. You, do. you can do it quietly with yourself. If you're in a crowded area and you notice or you're at work and you're in a meeting and you're like stressing, stressing, just quietly saying to yourself, because you're noting it and you're bringing mindfulness to the stress and then you're, in, you're just noting it and then what you're practicing, instead of making yourself wrong for it and judging yourself for it, you're like, I'm stressed. So what? And some of the best days of my life has been when I've caught myself in it or even somebody's like, wow, you seem stressed. I'm like, duh, really? Yeah, I am. And, and making that okay. And it's a practice. That's the thing to remember. It takes practice. And you might stress out and then be an hour in and be like, oh God, I'm stressing. But it doesn't matter. It's like that moment you brought mindfulness to it and you caught yourself. And, and the more you do that, you can't stop your thoughts, but you can interrupt them. You can't stop the stress dead in its tracks. You can't stop the stressful thoughts. But as you begin to interrupt them, that's what's changing them. If I had known that, I would not have spent a year trying to think positive. So Marvin, great to see you. Susie, I know there's someone else here, but I can't tell it is. Thank you for the topic, Who the person that sent it in. And um, I will also um, upload this to YouTube. Have a great rest of your day, and we'll see you back here tomorrow. Bye for now.